So today I'm going to talk about my live setup and how I use an RTA software to get DB readings and RTA spectrum. So the stand I'm using is a heavy duty computer stand that's attached to a tripod that's great just for a laptop but for my setup I need something with a bit more room. So I made a DIY top out of plywood that slots into the existing top. This way I can fit the Mac, the interface, and there's even room for my talkback mic and phone and for other little accessories. The width of the setup is just under a meter, so even if you are in a small venue it is quite useful to have. So for this you need an audio interface, measurement mic, so I normally use the ECM8000 from Behringer, but I've left that at a venue I work at and due to the coronavirus situation I cannot go get it. So hey, for this demonstration we're going to be using the AKG C430. So now let's plug in the interface and jump into the software. We'll be using RoomEQ Wizard. It's very simple to use and you can download it for free. So I'll put a link in the description. So once you've downloaded it, let's go ahead, open it up. So once you've opened it up, we're going to go over to the right, go to preferences. You go to output device. Let's select the interface. So today we're using the Scarlett 2i2. So we go to output, you want to select speaker, and on input device, you want to select audio interface, Scarlett 2i2. You want to go to input, you want to select the microphone, send that to the left channel. Timing reference is going to be on output, channel right, and on the input we're going to have loop back. It's going to be on the right channel. All right now we're going to set up the microphone. Usually I place it in front of the mixer on the left hand side facing towards the stage. But because we're stuck at home because of this coronavirus situation, we're going to go ahead and put the mic about three meters away from the speaker. So now connect the XLR cable to the mic, plug the other end into the interface and turn on phantom power. So once we plug the mic into the input one, on the input two, we're going to plug in a jack and on the right output, we're going to plug in that same jack. So we're creating a loop. The audio reference is going to come out the back into the input. With another jack, we're going to come out the left channel. And this is going to go into the mixer. That's going to be sent to the monitor. So for a monitor today, I'm using a QSC K8 1000 watt full range speaker. So in the past, I've used the Behringer B205D. That's a little 5.25 inch, 150 watt active monitor that works fine. But the sound quality that comes out of the QSC K8 is so much better. So now we have to calibrate the sound card. So click on calibrate sound card, push next, next again. So on the left, we have the output channel. It's gonna be sending the audio to the mixer that we go into the monitor in this case. And the one on the right is our reference in. So now we, we want to set the reference in to around minus 30 dB. And once we've set that to minus 30 dB, we're going to go ahead and go to channel one, where our microphone is, and turn our microphone gain up until we reach minus 30 dB. So the reference in and the microphone are the same level. So once they are both the same level, we're going to push next. Next again. So now it's going to do a frequency sweep. It will give us our readout. Close that page. Now if we zoom out, you can see on this chart the frequency response. So now if you go to the left, click on the X. Yes. Delete that recording. We're going to go over to preferences, click on preferences, we're going to go to view, we're going to click on the, the box that says keep SPL meter on top. So we go ahead and close that. Now double click on SPL meter, that'll open up. Now open up RTA, full screen RTA, push record. So now as you can see, we have the RTA analyzer working. So once we've calibrated the interface, we can go ahead and unplug everything except for the microphone and the USB. 
So thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on upcoming content.